Freestyle sits front and center in all of Lobster's snowboards, but the creamer has been fine-tuned with a more mellow flex, versatile shape, and a super forgiving profile compared with some of the big boys in the line. Don't be fooled though, this thing is still very much at home in the park. If you're the kind of rider who's steering clear of the pro lines, a big backcountry line, and not too fussed about waiting for first chair in the lift lines, the Creamer makes for such a fun all-mountain freestyle addition to your quiver this season. So let's take a quick look at the shape because it definitely looks like a directional snowboard based on the nose and tail, but actually the contact area of the board is a pure true twin. So everything from the flex, side cut and stance is totally symmetrical here. And that's obviously something you're gonna wanna factor in for park and freestyle riding. Profile wise, there's a real mellow camber running from the tip to tail. And the feedback from our test team was that you could definitely feel it working, but it doesn't have quite the stability at speed or explosive pop as some of the more advanced boards in the line, like the Sender, for example. But that's kind of the point, right? The shape and profile of the board is set up to work in most areas of the mountain, but actually it's gonna be at its best when you're getting really creative with natural features, smaller park hits, and jibbing your way through the rail guard. It's definitely more about those proper loose fun times than scaring yourself shitless times. That's also largely down to Lobster's 3D profiling in the nose and the tail. So at a glance it looks a bit like triple base tech where the nose is split into these three different sections and in many ways it works in a very similar way. The key difference here is that the bevel doesn't run quite as far down the length of the board. And here's why we like that. You're still going to get a lot of the benefits of the added forgiveness at the contact points which just opens the door for so much freestyle and jibbing potential around the resort and you can get away with absolute murder on these things. So if you rotate off the jump a little early or you get your body out of position on a rail, the chances of a hookup are massively reduced. But as well as that, we found the board still behaved a bit more like a traditional camber in terms of the feeling in and out of turns. The sidekicks here definitely make those initiations a little smoother and more progressive, but you do still find the edge pretty quickly and grip right through the arc of the turn. What about the rest of the construction then? Well, it's got a flex rating that sits at a four out of 10, which I'd say is pretty bang on for how it felt. Super easy to lock into rails and bend the board into all sorts of butters, but always feeling like there's still some life underfoot. That's mainly down to a poplar wood core, which is reinforced with two beechwood stringers for added durability, paired with more torsionally forgiving Biax fiberglass laminates. The base is definitely pretty speedy too. It's a decent sintered material that continued to ride well, even in the slushier, warmer conditions that we took this board out in. Lastly, you've got four carbon stringers that are located just outside the inserts on either side cut. These are gonna help to give you a bit more stability and a bit more life on the edge when you're working through your turns. I actually think this was one of the biggest curveballs for our test team this year. Lobster have earned a global reputation for their freestyle focused fleet snowboards, and with brothers Aki and Haldor Helgeson at the helm, you'd be forgiven for assuming all of their boards are advanced level and pretty intimidating. But that is so not the case with the Creamer. It's such an accessible snowboard that puts freestyle progression center stage without limiting itself to being ridden in the park all day. I reckon this is a snowboard that could grow your trick bag in half the time of some of the competition out there. That's it for this video. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have, so please stick them down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel where we're gonna be bringing you loads more snowboard product video reviews for the winter. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.